Are you a serious dinosaur collector that wants to make better buying decisions? If so, this is the show for you. Welcome to episode 33 of the Dinosaur Review Show. Today we are going to continue our examination of T-Rex models with the T-Rexes from Collect A. We have six different models to look at. George, where would you like to get started? Let's start with the tiny baby one. This little guy is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it's almost a little ugly. The eye is huge, which is consistent with small dinosaurs because they want to have that baby face, so the moms would want to take care of them. Um, not proven yet if T-Rexes took care of their young, but I'm just saying typically that's why babies have big eyes. And the teeth are almost like cookie-cutter teeth. They're like little triangles. Reminds me of a reptar. You got the two little... Two-fingered hands. These guys are facing down, so as we know, that's not accurate. We've got three forward-facing toes, and I don't see a backwards-facing one, unless that's it. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. So it has a backward-facing toe. A little teeny tiny tail. I would think they'd be a little bit longer on, on the baby, so I would say this guy's not the most accurate. <laughs> this would be great for, for smaller kiddos, but if you're collecting... For scientific accuracy, this would not be my pick. Okay, George, Collect A has a medium-sized model that comes in two different colors, brown and green. Let's take a look at those next. All right, let's start with the green one. Uh, this T-Rex has a very narrow, narrow skull. Kind of looks like a, 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 a juvenile, maybe, or even a, a different species of Tyrannosaur, like Pinocchio Rex. This guy also has cookie-cutter teeth. They look like little triangles instead of individually sculpted teeth. The eyes are really nice, though, with the crests. I do like that feature in the curvature of the neck. Very, very accurate there with the neck. The hands, though, they're facing down. So, as you know, those that's not accurate. We look down, uh, and there's no cloaca. The previous one didn't have one either. Uh, they didn't have much of anything. And look at these feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, they look like marker tips. <laughs> You're not killing anything with that, buddy. But... It does have a backward facing claw uh, and the tail has a very interesting little pattern there that might be skin folds but it's a very thick tip of a tail and it has these little bumpy osteoderms there too i really like putting osteoderms on t-rex um, but again we don't know um i would say this one's better better than what <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't we'll hear much there. <laughs> i didn't hear much positive in that one and and the bottom of the feet the smoothness of it it looks like they're made out of play-doh or you know just pr you know made by pressing them on the surface I feel bad for some of them it's just like they're they're trapped to look like that forever so i gotta add a little bit of a silver lining there right. <laughs> here you go into the scrap heap i guess <laughs> well george if you didn't like that model in green I don't think the model in brown is going to be any better for you, but let's take a quick look. Here's the brown one. And yeah, I I would say this one's even worse. The teeth, the teeth look like they're they're globbed up with tartar. Oh boy. Oh, it looks like it's in pain. Yeah, this this one's not much better. It does have stripes that the other one didn't have. Oh, there's a difference. The claws are actually sharp. So I guess this one's slightly better. I guess maybe they're not the exact same pose, but pretty close. Yeah, it looks like they're the same base sculpt. And then all the extra little details that they added afterwards are different. So this one's marginally better than the other one? They're like 0.1% better. Does it still go on the scrap heap or did it save itself? <sighs> scrap heap. Scrap heap. <laughs> oh we're, boy. We're getting a little more brutal in our old age as they say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new year, new review. <laughs> yes. Okay, George, we have what Collect Day calls their deluxe model. Let's take a look at that. Fingers crossed. All right, so let's look at the deluxe one. And wow, this guy is in a pose I've never seen a T-Rex in. That's kind of a compromising position. <laughs> <laughs> this T-Rex is in a specific pose for mating. I wonder if this is modeling that specifically or if it was just a uh, crouch down and roar, which dinosaurs didn't roar. But let's start looking at the actual model. <laughs> this is a nicer mouth. The teeth are very accurate to how T-Rex teeth are. You've got a nice smooth snout with a little bit of texturing. Those crests are very well pronounced with golden eyes. That's a nice touch. The jaw does not move. The arms are facing down. Oh, these arms let me down. And the, the feet, three toes, 
Backward facing toe. Very good. Now, is there a cloaca? Oh, no, that is a crime. They put you in this pose and didn't add a cloaca. I do like the tail, though. It's, it's in a nice natural curve, which you see a lot of skeletons uh, be put in this tail-like curve. I would say this, this is a pretty decent figure. I like it. And for reference, due to YouTube video requirements, these videos are not made for children. If you are a child, please avert your eyes <laughs> because these videos are not made for you. No, you're not. There's a lot of, lot of mature content here. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> okay, George, we have two models left from Collect A. One of them is a dinosaur eating its prey. Let's take a look at that one next. All right. Look at that action. This... This this poor Struthiomimus, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. You are correct, sir, <laughs> as Ed McMahon would say. Yes, if, as if there was any doubt. Uh, this poor Struthiomimus didn't stand a chance. So, as you know, there's a scene in Jurassic Park where the T. Rex eats the Gallimimus. Well, Gallimimus was from Asia, and T. Rex is from North America. So, its cousin Struthiomimus did live alongside T. Rex, and unfortunately met its untimely death here. But T. Rex got a meal out of it. I will say there is something weird about the skull. This is like a slimmer, maybe a younger T-Rex than an adult, because the adults had a lot more of a robust skull. This was very slim. In fact, its crests are barely there. But I will say I do like this sort of kind of throat pouch here, similar to crocodiles. And look, it even has scarring on its lower jaw. That's pretty cool. It also has a, these osteoderms on top of the scales. I will say the scale sculpt is amazing. That is really, really well done. The arms are facing inwards. Yes. All right. This guy's winning. The legs are posed very well. Let's see if the toes are correct. We've got one, two, three. And the backward facing one there. But let's see if it has a cloaca. <gasps> there it is. We have a T-Rex cloaca right there. Beautiful. And going to the back, the tail does a little nice curve there. There's also these little tiny scales, tiny scaly bumps going all the way from the head to the bottom of the tail. Or not to the bottom of the tail, the end of the tail. <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty nice one. You seem to like a lot of the body, but that head sculpt really seems off compared to every other model we've seen so far. Yes, it's too petite, too slim. Of, of a skull it doesn't have any of the robust features that t-rexes are known for even the lower jaw is a bit lacking in the muscle department it looks very very small okay george we have one last t-rex model from collect a which is a feathered t-rex let's take a look at that oh, i can already hear the comments oh boy feathered t-rex here we go so i will start out saying i do like my feathers on my dinosaurs even t-rexes so you can come at me later in the comments. We don't have any evidence of feathers in T-Rexes, but we do have feather evidence in Tyrannosaurs, like you, Tyrannus. That is an Asian cousin of T-Rex that had feathers all throughout its body from its neck to its tail. So that's a lot of feather coverage. This guy is a bit more conservative. They only did the top. I am going to say this because I'm from Mexico. This guy looks like he went to a Mexican soccer game. <laughs> you know, he did the full face paint and everything. He dyed his hair red, uh, dyed the rest of his hair green with a little white in the middle. I love it. The teeth are very well sculpted, individually painted, very proportional. Tongues attached on the bottom. You've got the bony crest here. It's a lot more pronounced than the previous one. Do have very intricate scale sculpting. Look at those. These are consistent with the findings that we have found of T-Rex skin impressions on Y-Rex, which came from the neck and the base of the tail. So I think what they did is they just filled out the space in between using that same pattern, which is a very safe bet. If we look at the arms, they're facing inwards. That's pretty cool. The bottom has a cloaca. All right, they're winning. And we have three forward-facing toes and a backwards-facing one on both sides. That's pretty good. If we go to the tail, that is a beautifully proportioned tail. Look at that with a slight curve at the bottom. We've got a dynamic kind of walking pose with it looking up, letting that hair flow in the wind. I think you all know this is my favorite one already. <laughs> the, the Fabio model. The Fabio model, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it has an open and closing jaw. I, I played around with it, but I didn't mention it. So that is always worth mentioning. Are the scales too big, though? 
I would say the scales are a little bit too big on the middle part of the body, but when it comes to the tail and the neck where we did find the size of their scales, it is consistent with that size. But, you know, they took artistic liberty with these. We don't have the evidence for these scales, but we do have evidence for scales in the neck and at the base of the tail. So those, as far as I know, look good to me. Okay, well, clearly if money was no object, George, I'm guessing that the feathered T-Rex is the one that you would add to your collection. Oh, yeah. But now, put put on your pith hat. Is that what it's called, a pith hat? Right, I guess so. Or <laughs> pity hat or just pith. The round one. The, the round ones that the paleontologists wear in all the movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one is the most scientifically accurate because this feather raises a few questions? It's kind of a tie between the one eating the Struthiomimus and the feathered one. So the deluxe one is out of contention. Yes, the deluxe one is out of contention. That is more in line with what we see in Jurassic Park and the Lost World. So between those two then, which one is the most scientifically accurate? Because the skull you said was not accurate on the smaller version and the feathers may not be accurate on the larger version. Uh, this is a tough one. You put me in a tough spot. This could this could either mean this could be your career. George. Yeah, this could be this my a career. career this, is a car- this could be a career-ending decision for you. You know what? I'm gonna go with the feathered T-Rex. <laughs> you can come at me in the comments, but uh, the the findings are consistent with what we found in Tyrannosaurus, including the skin. And uh, this one, it has osteoderms. So the one eating the Struthiomimus has osteoderms, which we have not found on T-Rex, <laughs> on their body at least. So I'm going to have to go with the feathered T-Rex. This one, the, the scales, the scaling, the texture, the, the color, I mean, it's just, it's almost perfect. <laughs> okay, in what may be George's career-ending decision, he has indicated that from Collect A, and from Collect A only, that the feathered T-Rex is what he would call the most scientifically accurate compared to the other Collect A models. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and thumbs up, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we will continue our foray into the T-Rex models.